Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and this is a video about the highly anticipated Deep Floyd and finally we are here, we've got the Hogging Face space available, the weights are available and the collab is available. So we are going to come here and test the, how this thing works and as you can see here we can enter the prompt like we had before as I told you that this thing is using the T5 text to text encoder and basically we can use natural language prompts with not using the clip OpenAI uh, tokenization method anymore so in here um, I put something more uh, natural so Rom Romeo kissing Juliet believing that she is dead and stuff like that and then it's made by Carvaggio and Mont Blair Layton and in the negative prompt I put uh, worse quality, low quality and that's the, the standard stable diffusion uh, negative prompt and as you can see it's coming with the 64 by 64 images they, it, it gave us like four of them and right off the bat you can see that this thing is using it knows the the shapes it knows what we are asking for so in this regard it, it understands the image and can do a better composition with people uh, hugging each other kissing each other which was a pain to do in the normal stable diffusion before we had control net but now this thing is very easy i guess that if we put control net on top of this it will be even like a lot lot more powerful than our stable current stable diffusion methods and as you can see we can come here and upscale the image and we have some different parameters that we can use we have upscalers uh, super resolution and we can input things in here that's quite cool so now we're gonna upscale this image and see how it comes with the upscaler because i'm seven out of seven in the queue i will wait a little bit and come back Okay, so finally we got the upscale image here coming. We can download it here with this button. Uh, it has a good uh, result, but of course not realistic. I don't think I asked for realistic uh, anyway. It's like a painting from Carvaggio and Frank Dixie. It's exactly like I asked in my prompt, so I'm not complaining. And as you can see, we got the image here and we can uh, save it with this little button here. We can download it. We can go back into our selection and select other images to upscale. I will go and select another prompt, uh, this Dark Health by Fran Francetta. And we can just put Frasetta here. HR Giger, so it's in the same negative prompt and generate. Another thing that you can do is actually move this thing into a collab or we can actually duplicate this space. At the moment I'm not feeling like uh, doing it right now but we could also download the models and run this in our own computer by a Jupyter notebook so you can just uh, run this in your computer with a Jupyter notebook just download the collab and run your thing from your own machine that will be interesting to see if it's normal uh, consumer graphic card can run this thing So let's upscale this. As we can see, coming another image is also another painting. It's, it's getting a lot of this style of painting. So I'm just gonna work in a little prone like to have a photorealistic result, and then I will come back and show you another one. But for the moment, I'm just gonna download these images to to have them like in the thumbnail for the video. And yeah, the process for downloading this, it will be like actually just getting the this link here and just download the models from it. This one actually looks better. Let's see this. I will go for this one and let's upscale it. And yes, as you can see, we got here a super good result at the end with the photorealistic advert for a succulent burger in a, against a black background and wood chopping board and fries on the side and some little subtle smoke coming out behind it. 
So it's pretty nice uh, result. I think it, it will be especially helpful for the commercial uh, side of things. But as you can see, it's a non-commercial research mode only. So it's a purpose that I guess they will have different, different licenses for different people. Amazing, I think. I think this is uh, has been like really cool. I think the next time I do a video of this, they will probably be running it on my own computer. And as I told you, you you can launch uh, Jupyter Notebook and run this thing if you if you download the weights. But it will be interesting when it comes to automatic. That will be like uh, when we can put all this. Uh, when we can put other modes like control net and in painting and that kind of thing. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you um, took something out of it. Or at least just go on here in the links and just run your own test. I think it's a super nice thing to do. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.